All right, all right, what's going on, party people? This your man, Griff. I guess you could probably call this a pre fritter Friday. Um, I've had a bunch of stuff I had to do this morning. Got a bunch of signings today starting at 1. As you see the clock a little bit after 12, I'm about to hit up a little bit before 12. I'm about to hit the road and knock out some signings. And then I'm going to swing back home and should be able to hop back on with y'all. Maybe even do, I should be able to do a live later on this evening once I get all my documents shipped off and everything and then I got to start getting ready I got three signings tomorrow on a Saturday <clears throat> excuse me normally I've been trying to stay away from doing that um just to rest and recuperate but in December what I've noticed since I've been in the business those two or three weekends most of the time those two weekends before the holiday especially before you know yeah before the holiday the um the signings tend to be a little more on the weekends because there's people doing refinances getting money out and or heloc or whatever you how are they getting the money out they're getting the money out and they're doing what going on vacation or even if they're not refinancing to get money out they're refinancing and then guess what they don't have a mortgage payment come january so they're using that money to what buy gifts and go on vacation so I got to take advantage of it. Three opportunities to make some funds for the um, revenue for the business. That's what you got to look at. So depending on the area where you live, those are opportunities that will reside for you. They'll be right there and then you just have to go ahead on and take it. Now, if you're a person where you're shutting down, you're not doing anything for the holiday, they no work in this and the other, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you don't have a problem going out there and doing some work, even on a Christmas Eve, <clears throat> and I'm telling you, I think every year that I've been in this business, I've done a closing either on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. And sometimes I've done at least one the day after Christmas. And Christmas is on a Sunday, so that means Monday. So don't be surprised if the opportunity comes for you to do so. And don't even be surprised if the opportunity for you to do a signing on Christmas Day or New Year's Day pops up. And the reason why is because not everybody celebrates these holidays. So don't look at the business as the way you would look at it. Like, well, I shut down. I'm going to Cancun. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's nice. You do that, but other people live their life a different way. And those notaries who are, who are available, you need to hop out there and do it. Never know, somebody might hop on there and look for you for general notary work, all of that. So, and then lastly, with the general notary work and the marketing, <laughs> one of the things that I noticed is that you have people who are calling you and they will put a demand on you to just show up to a place to get a stamp. And I've had this happen several times where a person will call, male, female, and they'll be like, well, look, all I just need is your stamp. I just need you to stamp this document. And <clears throat> when you, somebody calls you that way, you have to be very leery, very, very, very leery. And don't just bought, buy into the, the pressure that they're trying to throw on you. You know, if you're trying to explain to them, ask them questions, do your intake form of do you have this? Do you have IDs? Do you have um, witnesses and things of that nature? Witnesses are required. And they're like, yeah, 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 I got all that. That's when you may have to bow out. <clears throat> And yes, they might leave a bad review, but then you need to respond back saying, hey, I have a process of doing an intake and you were unable to provide me with the information so that I can do my role as a notary correctly. And that's what I've had to tell several people. I'm like, look, I'm trying to do this right, because if I don't do it right, irregardless of what you pay me, if it's not done right, you're going to come back and be upset that I did it wrong. Whether I did it for free or not, you're still going to be upset that I did it wrong. So let me get it done right the first time. Let me do what I do best, which is get notarizations done correctly. And I need this information from you in order to get it done. So don't buy into the pressure of people trying to bully you into just coming out and meeting up with you to stamp a document. Because I'm telling you, when you hear, and I've heard this at least four times, I just need that stamp. I just need that stamp. And when you hear people talk like that, you really got to take a softer 
well, I won't say soft. You got to take a more cautious approach to doing that work. I know you want to make money, but when somebody and they're, you know, a calling like, like they're trying to make you yield to their will and do things their way. And they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. You just need to show up. Be careful of that. Be careful of that. That's a red flag. All right. So I'm going to go out here. Oh, oh. And then we got training also Saturday, the um, 10th at 6 p.m. For the members, if you want to join, click the join button over here on the corner and join. Grab the lowest membership. And we're going to this week, we're going to be doing marketing and we're going to be talking about um, Ron. OK, we're going to be talking about Ron dot verify version of it. And I think we should have a pretty good time. When we last week we had, we was in there for five hours, and that last week was just answering people's questions concerning whatever they got going on in the notary world, whatever they're trying to do in the notary world. That's what we did. So we talked for them, <clears throat> talked for about five hours, gave everybody a chance to answer questions. I mean, ask questions and give advice and things of that nature. So if you've already signed up um, for the session, you just use the same link. You don't have to re-register. And if you have not, just click on it. And then when you go to the community tab, click on the join button, then go to the community tab. Hear me? I'll go to the community tab and you will see the community um, post that has the link for you to register for the session. Just come on in. We're going to have a nice good time. Everybody has to register because I check your names off on who is a member. Because I know you could just grab that link and then share it with your little buddies. And then they come trying to hop in and just get this training. But it don't work that way. If I see somebody registered that's not a member, they're getting bounced. Okay? It's time out for people trying to be slick and all that good stuff. So other than that, I'm going to catch y'all later. Hopefully, I should be able to swing back around and um, get with y'all later this evening. Because I got two long mods, which I ain't going to take but minutes to do and one actual regular signing. So one, three, and five, I got to bounce out here and knock out today. And um, y'all have a good one. And if you got any questions, comment below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them back. And if I missed a question or something that somebody asked me recently, <clears throat> um, ping me, tell me, and I'll, I'll make sure I get back around to it. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.